Hi there. In this video, we are going to make an applique mama sweatshirt. Maybe you have seen these. They seem like they're all over Facebook these days, but um, these sweatshirts that have mama across the chest and they're applique with the applique letters. So you may think you need to buy this design or that it's going to be a special font that you need and it's actually super easy to do if you have Stitch Artist and you can do this with just level one. So let's begin. First of all, you need to find an appropriate font. Um, a great source for fonts is Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T. I'll put a link in the um, description below. And I just searched for Varsity and I found this font right here, Varsity Team. It's 100% free. I downloaded it, which downloaded it as a zip file. And then once I uncompressed it, I got the OTF file, um, double clicked on it and it installed right away. And it should work just fine on a Mac or a PC. Once I installed that font, it became accessible to me and in brilliance. Now, not as a BX font, but as a TTF font, which is um, still useful, and we can use it to make this particular project. So, let's go into in brilliance. I have the font installed, and I'm not gonna click on this button right here. I'm gonna go over to create mode, which is accessible if you have Stitch Artist. And then I'll click this type button right here, which opens up my um, fonts box. And these are my true type fonts, the ones that you would use in like Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to type mama here. Okay. And I think that these letters are going to be about, they're gonna be pretty big. They're gonna be about five inches tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow this up and I actually kind of want to distort it um, so it's taller and skinnier and make it oh let's say each of the letters they're about four and a half inches okay and next I'm going to rotate give it a little bit of a curve and I think the best way to do that is to just rotate each one, but I wanna make it symmetrical. So I'm going to go back into the essentials area, get out of create mode for a second here. And then I'm going to rotate my out, not 90 degrees, rotate my letters like one at a time. So I'm gonna take the M and maybe I'll go um, 10 degrees. Okay, and then my A, negative 10 degrees, and my A, maybe five degrees, and my M, negative five degrees. So I like that, but things are kind of need to be adjusted a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this down here and bring my M down here using this as a guide, and then I need to spread out my other two letters. Okay, now these are just objects, but what we can do is we can use these objects as a basis for applique. I feel like this needs to be moved over a little bit, yeah. So let's select them and then I'll go back to create mode and I'm going to put an applique stitch on them. Voila! <laughs> now normally that comes in um, as a E stitch but I had been playing with this before so maybe it just picked up my last settings and I want satin I usually like my satin width to be four millimeters and I'm doing I have fabric preview set um, now that I'm looking at this it feels like this M should be moved over just a smidge um, the preview comes from the applique position color. So if I change that to something different, I can see it in a different color if I wanted to. Um, I might as well make them all consistent. So I'll make all the applique positions rust or rust this rust color just for the fun of it. So you see how that works. And now, um, you can see if we use our stitch simulator, the, we will have the, this is the position, the reason why, sorry, the position stitching 
the tack down stitching and then the final satin stitching and then it does the next letter and the next letter okay two things let's go back exit um, stitch simulator mode two things one with all these applique letters so I'm um, with, with each one of these the reason why I'm seeing the red is because I have fabric preview selected okay so that's just giving me a sense of what it would look like filled and that's why it looks kind of weird so I'm just gonna unselect that uh, another thing is if you want your applique to do the placement stitching and then the tack down stitching you want to have both of these boxes checked okay so right now the stitch out is terribly inefficient because it's doing you know position tack down satin positions we want to sort our colors now this is assuming i could stitch this whole thing out in on one in one hooping on one embroidery hoop so let's just say it fits and we want to do all the placement stitching at once what i would do next is i would do utility and then color sort okay and i usually put it in a new view and now look what i have let's go look at the stitch simulator i have all of my placement stitching and then all of my tack down stitching and finally all of my final satin stitching and I'm going to end up with something like this so that is how you can create the applique mama that everybody is making these days if you just have stitch artist level one um, get a free font and you can make it so I hope you enjoyed the video